The internal combustion engine has long dominated the automotive industry, but its future faces challenges due to concerns about carbon emissions. In response, car manufacturers are exploring alternative solutions. The one most seem to be clinging to is electric vehicles. However, Toyota, Mazda and Subaru, three major Japanese automakers, are taking a unique approach. Instead of jumping on the EV trend, they are developing a new generation of high-tech engines designed to work with electrification as well as being completely compatible with various carbon-neutral fuels. This collaboration, announced in May 2024, marks a significant shift. Rather than solely focusing on EVs, these companies are adopting a multi-pathway approach, acknowledging that the internal combustion engine still holds potential in a sustainable future. In this video, we will delve deep into the details of this collaboration, exploring the specific engines each manufacturer is developing and how they plan to achieve carbon neutrality. While collaborating on the broader goal of reducing carbon emissions, Toyota, Mazda and Subaru will each focus on their own signature powertrains. In other words, boxer engines for Subaru, rotary motors for Mazda and normal inline motors for Toyota. This ensures that they retain their unique identities within this competitive automotive market. So let's start this off with the leader in the space, Toyota. Now Toyota is renowned for its reliable and fuel efficient inline 4 engines. Now their new generation of engines will be tailored for electrification, integrating seamlessly with electric motors and batteries in future hybrid vehicles. The official press release mentions a new 1.5 litre and 2 litre 4 cylinder engine under development. These engines are expected to be even more efficient than their predecessors, with potential for improved performance as well. Along with these engines, Toyota has also developed a 3-cylinder turbo motor that runs on green hydrogen fuel. This engine produces well over 300 horsepower and has been extensively tested in endurance races. If you would like to know more on this 3-cylinder engine, I have made many videos discussing it. Then for Subaru, Subaru is known for its distinctive horizontally opposed engines, often referred to as boxer engines. These engines offer a lower center of gravity, which can enhance handling. Now, the new generation of boxer engines will maintain these advantages while being optimized for electrification and carbon neutral fuels. The camouflaged Crosstech prototype showcased during the announcement hints at the future of Subaru's hybrid systems, where the boxer engine might work in conjunction with an electric motor for better fuel economy and power delivery. And as I said, the motor will run using carbon neutral fuels. They don't specify which fuel this thing will be powered by or if it's just synthetic fuels, but it will be carbon neutral. Anyways, on to Mazda and the awesome rotary. Now Mazda stands out with its rotary engines, known for their smooth operation and high power potential. However, rotary engines have historically faced challenges with fuel efficiency and emissions. You see, rotary engines are known for gulping down fuel, whilst not being the most reliable motors. While the new generation aims to address these issues while capitalizing on the rotary engine's inherent advantages. You see, rotaries are great because they are super compact. They can make a lot of power per liter and they sound insane. The last advantage isn't really important to most, but for me, it is important. Anyways, on to their new concept. So Mazda has developed a new one rotor motor as well as a new two rotor unit. The one rotor seems to be used just as a range extender for electric vehicles, similar to their MX-30 SUV, while the two rotor motor could be used in conjunction with electrification, whilst running on hydrogen fuel or synthetic fuels. Now, a crucial aspect of this collaboration between the brands will be their focus on carbon neutral fuels, as I said earlier in the video. By shifting away from traditional fossil fuels, these engines can significantly reduce their environmental impact. The announcement mentions biofuels, e-fuels and liquid hydrogen as potential solutions, although they are not very specific on which engines will use which fuels. Now this collaboration between Toyota, Mazda and Subaru presents a compelling argument for the continued relevance of internal combustion engines in a sustainable future. By focusing on engine efficiency, electrification and carbon neutral fuels, these companies aim to significantly reduce the environmental impact of their vehicles, 
whilst also giving consumers a wider range of options, from traditional hybrids to potentially more affordable options like biofuel-powered vehicles. I mean, we don't all love the idea of EVs. In fact, there are many like myself that kind of dislike them. They aren't green to produce, are soulless, and just don't get us excited. But I think, if you are like me, and you love the sound of an engine roaring to life, you can be excited by this new partnership. You see, by sharing knowledge and resources, they can accelerate the development of these new technologies and potentially bring them to market even sooner. This collaboration fosters friendly competition, pushing each company to innovate and improve their respective engines. To end it off, the announcement made by Toyota, Mazda and Subaru marks a significant step towards a cleaner future for transportation by focusing on innovative engine development, electrification and carbon neutral fuels, these companies are demonstrating their commitment to sustainability while maintaining the legacy of the internal combustion engine. The success of this approach will depend on overcoming various challenges and navigating a rapidly evolving technological landscape. However, the potential benefits for consumers and the environment make this multi-pathway approach a compelling strategy for a sustainable future. But at the end of the video, please let me know what you guys think of this. Um, are you on the EV bandwagon or are you like me, more a fan of the internal combustion engine? Let me know down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys did like it, you'll most like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?